Hi, I'm Maria Gracia, owner of GetOrganizedNow.com. How often have you left the house, perhaps gotten down the block, perhaps even got all the way to your destination and realized that something that you meant to bring with you was still back at the house? What a pain, right? So a way to ensure that that never happens again is to use a checklist. And um, I'm gonna show you the checklist that I use before I leave my house every morning, I take a look at this and I never forget anything that I need. Now, hopefully you can see this, and this is a very simplified version of a typical um, morning checklist. And I will have, um, you know, I'm, I just kind of generalize this, but it'll say my name, you know, Maria, Joe, and my daughter's name down here. But you know, whatever your family's names are, you just put them on the list. And then under each name, you put the things that you don't want to forget when you walk in the door. So, for example, in this example under mom, I have my purse, my cell phone, and the videos that I want to bring back to the library. And for dad, we have briefcase, cell phone, the receipt for the dry cleaner, and the grocery list so my husband can pick up a few items on the way home. And for my daughter, I might have completed homework, lunch money, and the school library book. So. There's no way, if you look at this checklist, that you're going to forget to bring what you need to bring with you before you leave the house. Um, the important thing is that you look at the checklist before you exit. So now I have a bulletin board, um, a, a cork board, hung up in my utility room. That's the door we come in and out of all the time. And um, it's very easy. I just kind of look to my left and there is the checklist. Now, if you can't remember to look at the cork board, you might want to hang your checklist right on the entry door so you don't miss it as you're leaving the house. Now, this is again a very, very simplified version that only has, you know, name and a listing of the items um, that you need to bring each day. And this may be fine for you and if you do this once, you may never have to do it again. Now, at different times of year, things get a little busier for us. Um, generally during the school year uh, is when that happens. And instead of just having you know, the names and the items that we need to remember, I kind of take this whole list, I flip it over, we do it in landscape mode. Again, I have you know, the names and the items, but I also have the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so on and so forth. And the reason that I do that is because we don't normally have to leave the house with the same things that we have to leave with on a Monday versus a Tuesday. And this is especially true with my daughter and what she needs to bring to school and all the activities that she's involved with after school. For example, on Mondays, she might have gym class, so she needs to bring her gym sneakers that day. Now on Tuesday, she might not have gym class, but she may have um, her school library books due or she may have dance class after school and we may have to leave directly from where, when I pick her up after school. So, you know, each day there are different requirements. Now, once I do the checklist, it doesn't have to be changed that often, but occasionally it does need to be updated. Now, if it's just a little thing, you know, I might just take the list and if I have to remember something else, I might just write, you know, the extra thing that we have to start bringing. But we don't want the list to start looking messy because then it's gonna be easy to start forgetting things. This is why I like doing the list on the computer. Now, obviously, you can just make a checklist with pen and paper and, you know, that's a pretty easy peasy thing to do. However, if you have to change the checklist in the future, now you have to rewrite the whole thing up again. When you do a list on the computer, you can save the file, um, you can go back and edit and make any adjustments that you need to, and then you just reprint the list and put it back on your door or on your cork board or whatever. So if you do this on your computer, it may work out better for you and end up in less work um, in the future. So very, very simple idea. Make up your checklist, look at your checklist every day. You will never forget to bring anything out the door with you. Now this does not only apply to things that you have to remember to bring with you in the morning, it could apply to things you have to say. For example, every time I have to make one of these videos, I always make a checklist for myself. And I know you can't see this, but these are the points that basically I want to remember to tell you on the video. And a checklist can be applied to anything, whether it's applied to the things you need to bring with you in the morning, 
things you want to say on a video, items you want to include in a book you're writing, um, things that you have to remember to do in work, people you have to remember to call in work. Keep the idea of a checklist in your mind. Don't try to stuff everything into your head and remember it all. We have too much to remember. Let the paper and your um, data and information remember it for you. I'm Maria Gracia, owner of GetOrganizedNow.com. I hope this video ensures you never forget anything you have to do or bring or go to again. If you like this video, please click the like link. I would really appreciate it. And if you have any comments, feel free to share them. I love to hear from you. And remember, there is no better time to get organized than to get organized now. Mm -hmm.